<laughs> Welcome back to the Nathan Go Show. It's your boy Nathan. Hurt his knee. Now he can't stand off of us. <laughs> yep, I used it again. I've got GB here once again. Say hi, George. Hey guys, I'm glad to be here and we've got a very, very special oh, guest. Special. He, some would say he's famous in these parts in so, Adelaide. 100%. He's been around veteran. long enough. A veteran. Veteran, and he looks like a granddad as well, so that's good. <laughs> uh, everyone, please welcome uh, Jordan LC. Well, da, 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 da. Here he is. Yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. 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 So, uh, how you been? How you going, mate? Yeah, good. Um, first of all, thank you. Thank <laughs> you to the three listeners that um, voted to have me on this show. Oh. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's good. Um, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy to be here. No, that's great. Uh, if anyone's watching the video, we're in a new location. Yeah, we, are. we are. It's Look a lovely this. place you got here, oh, mate. Thanks, when thanks. did you move in? You moved in recently, yeah? Uh, yeah, December. 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 We got food, refreshments. Like, you don't get this at the club. Oh, you don't. <laughs> you <laughs> definitely don't. It's just a quality <laughs> setup. And I feel like comfortable in this chair, actually. Yeah. Well, Riley last week broke his back. Yeah. He was leaning so far forward. How are you feeling? With yeah, I'm good. I'm comfortable. You got a little yeah. mic. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, that's you good. want to plug out to the builder who built the house? No. Nah. No, nah, we'll leave that. He'll be right. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> we don't give out those for free. <laughs> if you want to pay, then go ahead. So, Els, how's your week been, mate? Give us a rundown. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I didn't train early in the week because I had an injection in my foot. Oh. Um, nothing to worry about, though. Just getting the body right. And, um, yeah. I feel good. What were you doing? What, where was that going? <laughs> Not necessary at all. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> right now, so first of all, we're going to start with how did you end up at Adelaide United, and what were some of your childhood clubs and best memories of playing football? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, I grew up in the north, um, playing for Parry Hills Knights and Parry Hills East. Before that. Um, I've sort of just done the, the cliche system grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come through the ranks. I've come through Barry Hills. I've come through Sassy and, the, and then the youth team and now the first team, which I've been here. <laughs> Are you joking? Is that, yeah. Is that Uber Eats? I don't know. We'll find out. There's someone at the door. There's Maybe Tim door. could grab it. Maybe I want a delivery. No. It's Gertha. What? The boss is here? Are you serious? I swear to God. Look at this, man. What? No, that wasn't the yeah, boss. It is, it is. I swear to God. He's wearing the, the same blue jacket. Are you? Oh my god! Like, this is <laughs> what are we gonna do? Go Let's get pause. Yeah. I better. I think you better go get it. All right, we're back. <laughs> we had a little interruption yeah, there. We did, didn't we? A little special guest. Um, I just looked in the the like intercom and I just saw the boss's frizzy hair and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were taking the piss because I couldn't see it. And you're like, no, he's here. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I got like sweaty immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I was really nervous. That was good. That was good. The boss and uh, Gerald, our assistant coach, came along. So yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, then. nice of them actually. Yeah. So no, that was that was good. Where where were we up to? Um, we we're talking about oh yeah, Elsa's your childhood clubs and like his way through. Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I explained it yeah. um, the cliche way uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. through Power Hills, through the youth team, through Sassy. Yeah. And then um, John Cosmina signed me when I was a young. I'm gonna say. 16, 17 year old from, um, the, youth team. from the youth team. Yeah. And then, yeah, the rest is history, really. Oh. I've. I've oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. As well. <laughs> There's definitely been a lot of downs. Um, yeah. I don't want to. Well, well, let's, let's we'll do it there yeah. because we're, we're move, moving on to something. I think it's a good topic to talk about while uh, Nathan's obviously just done his ACL. Um, you've gone through an ACL reconstruction twice. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd be good to sort of tell Nathan, tell anyone who's gone through a serious injury, how you sort of got through it. Yeah. Um, or is your goal setting like, and like sort of what helped you the most through like the whole process? Because two is yeah, it's a tough. lot, you know? Yeah, uh, it, it does sound a lot too, but once you do the first one, you sort of know what to do on the second yeah, one. Yeah, so yeah. it makes it easier. But um, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of family, a lot of um, players around me, um, having having little goals like you had said to yeah. set um, helped me a lot. So uh, give us an example of what a, a little yeah. goal would be then. Maybe straightening your leg out yeah. to yeah. 90 de uh, 100 degrees or yeah. something like that or yeah. mm. jogging in the straight line, things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the second one, special mention, obviously I got my dog 
that, that, that's not the whole reason why I got the dog, but it, yeah. was, it was a big reason. I knew I'd have a lot of time at home. So yeah. I knew yeah. I, I needed someone just there to help me do my leg raises. And yeah. so, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get back to Ben's, but like, I'm even finding that now, like my, I've only had it for a week, but just the goal of just walking is awesome. And then I'm going to work on the next thing is just like getting my extension and stuff like that. How do you stay sane when you're getting close to that period where you think like, I'm almost ready to go out, I'm ready to play, and then you're kind of getting held back. How did you deal with that part of it? Because I feel like that's, for me, is going to be the hardest bit. Yeah, that's obviously the hardest bit, being yeah. told like, oh, I'm ready, I'm yeah. ready, coach, put me in. But um, I think you just got to know what you had before and the feeling that you had before of playing. You know it's just around the corner, so yeah. you can't really um, get too much worked up about it. You just got to... Keep grinding on and, and, and going hard for it. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, it gives you a hunger for the sport too. Like you don't realize how good it is until you can't do it. For sure. It's man. crazy. That's what happens every time you get injured. Even at one where you're out for 10 yeah. days and you're in the gym on the ropes and you're like, <laughs> I just yeah. wish I was out there because this sucks. But yeah. it's just I, one of those I, things. Hey? And like sort of outside things as well. You went on little trips and stuff throughout the yeah. process, didn't you? You yeah. went to Bali a couple of times yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Don't with, say that to the cold with, yeah, yeah, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know with old mate if he'll let you go, but like like little examples like I'll be in a gym and I'd shut the window so I couldn't see the boys yeah, training. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's doing my head and watching them have fun in that and I'm hitting the boxing bag. Yeah. Mm. So little things like that, but yeah. yeah we'll get At least to you it. got your right hook good though. Yeah. You know, Have you seen it? Yeah, I've lethal. seen it. It's decent, man. <laughs> really? You, know you give Isaac a run for his money. Oh. oh. <laughs> Isaac, about him. So Isaac, I don't think I yeah. can beat you in a fight, but Elsie was telling me earlier off camera that he thinks he can. Yeah. So yeah. I heard that him. too. I have heard that too. I, yeah. Now we'll go to Ben's. We have to bring up Ben Lee okay. because so, first of all, Elsie. With with your ACL and stuff, um, you obviously have to be out of the house a lot as well. Um, we've obviously got a new member to the puppy team. <laughs> How did you deal with having a puppy and n no one being around with yeah. him and, and the sleeping situation? Because there's... There's an individual so in our team. That is in our team that is not <laughs> handling that well, that side of thing. Are we going to name him? No, we're not going to name him. Yeah, just, just in case. case yeah. yeah. I mean, it was it was easy. He's a dog. So. <laughs> that's what you got to remember. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I say this I guy. mean, and even now and then, a pig's ear outside or a marrow yeah. bone. It takes him two hours to get through that. So yeah, um, is the coach calling you? Do you, do you mind, Nath? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm anyway. just a popular guy. <laughs> Django. Um, Django. Oh, geez, oh, oh, can you leave him that, on yeah. scene, mate. Um, anyway, yeah. So. Bentley, we've got a few questions about Bentley. He's a fantastic dog, by the way. He's I, pure. I oh, what him. a dog. My, my, my dog loves him. Pure oh, red, uh, golden retriever. Um, we just got a couple of questions, though. <laughs> is Bentley soft? Is he a little soft? Because there's rumors going around that he's very, very soft with, <laughs> with <laughs> soft, when it comes to like, like play fighting. Oh, with play fighting? Yeah. I know his coat's immaculate. So oh, okay. Soft in, soft in that in that sense. But yeah, we're but talking you know like what we're talking about. Bro. What are we is he a bit of a pushover? Like is he soft like his dad? <laughs> yeah, like oh, I want to do this, but no, no, Bentley can't. Oh, okay, I can't. Oh, all right. I'm a bit of a pushover. Yeah. I'm Bentley. He he gets away with a lot, especially with um, Megan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I I'm the boss. I know I'm the boss. I yeah. walk in the door first. Yeah. He waits. Yeah. He walks in second. Just little things. <laughs> just little things little like things. that. Yeah, he knows. He knows yeah. both. So I don't think you really got the gist of our question we're asking. So, I was going from sort of is Bentley soft like, in play fight. I knew, I knew where you were so going. So hang on, if Rudolph steps to him, <laughs> he goes, come on, Bentley, give me something. Do you reckon he'd be able to hold his own or Rudolph just going to terrorise him? fight if it came down to it? Be honest. <laughs> because we've been there a million times. He's yeah. agile. He's very agile. <laughs> oh, and for a slug. It's, 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 <laughs> it's the first two steps. He sometimes goes left, right, left. Or like right, left. I've left. seen the goose step. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but a, a story. Bentley used to love the beach. He loves the beach. He loves going to the beach for me. And then, <clears throat> sorry. All of a sudden, George got this dog called Rudolph. I thought, oh, this, is, <laughs> this is great. We can do beach days now. George won't be walking by himself. We yeah. have a dog. And then the first time with Rudolph and Bentley was all right. They were a little bit. And now it's just carnage. <laughs> Bentley can't even sniff one bit of seaweed without, 
without being tackled on the floor, without without getting his tail bitten or his leg bitten, he just doesn't enjoy it. He, he gives me that look like I say, "Do you want to go to the beach?" And usually it's like like that. Yeah. And now it's more so just is, like, nah. is that other ge- is that other geezer coming? <laughs> yeah. Is he coming? I remember like I went for the walk with you guys, and Rudolph saw a sausage dog about a hundred meters down the beach. And this poor dog, <laughs> Rudolph's like, here we go. And he just gunned it for him. And we're like, Rudolph, no. And 100 meters. And like, I was like, oh my God. Oh. That's the end. He forgets his name at the beach. He, fi- yeah. he actually doesn't know his name. When he sees another dog that he likes, he just does not give two. You know, like he, he's just nowhere. Yeah. yeah like that, just, that's uh, that's uh, up to the trainer, really. Though. No, no, no. From it's a young just, age, I was taught Bentley, this no, is your name. No, no, no it's, it's just no. something you go through when you actually do something right by the community and get a dog from the pound who needs yeah. a home rather than just getting purebred that everyone wants. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's anyway, true, it's true. <laughs> we move on. So he can't win a fight against Rudolph. What about Baxter, Vinny Lear's dog? Oh, that's a tough match. That's a tough That's one. a good match. <laughs> <He's small. laughs> nah, he's yeah. he, they've had a couple of brawls. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Baxter can get underneath his legs. <laughs> and he underneath loses it, that one too. <laughs> <laughs> underneath his body and, and he's chewing from all different angles. So <laughs> he doesn't have Baxter either. He doesn't have Baxter. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just go down the pecking order. Um, what about Jazz? Uh, uh, Riley's miniature poodle. <laughs> they haven't met yet, unfortunately. Met. But oh, really? I know Bentley would have him. Don't uh, get me wrong, uh, Bentley's uh, sorry. Yeah. Bentley's got angry a couple of times at yeah. a dog fight. He doesn't like huskies. Oh, a husky, well, huskies do scare me. Yeah, they do. A husky walks in and he, you know, when they get that, yeah, because he's had a couple of run-ins with huskies. So yeah, a couple. Yeah. And I've I've been there. He knows yeah. I'm there. So yeah. Would but, you step up to the owner if they're having a bit of beef? Would you be like, hey? Yeah. Would you? Yeah, that's dog park. That's that's how it is. There's always <laughs> arguments at the dog park. <laughs> I think I, I think <laughs> I have two years, man. I've, I've got, I've got yeah. a good crew at my dog park, so I'm in with like the popular crew. So oh really? And they would all back me out if any an outsider walked in. And so. the popular crew is just the guys with like good dogs who don't bother anyone else. The yeah. rest are like they're not allowed oh, in our crew yeah. because that guy he's gonna <laughs> bite one of our dogs <laughs> and know it. Stay away from Bella. <laughs> 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 She's a right old. Bit. Oh, I can't say it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Congrats on your engagement, mate. Yes, thank you. Megs is lucky. Or very would lucky. you say that very lucky? You're lucky. Megs is lucky. Yeah, Megs is lucky. Megs is lucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to just take us through how you proposed for all the lady listeners? <laughs> for your romantic. Well, it was it was last off season. It obviously started with a, a van trip. Yeah. With um, me, George, and Izzo. That's a part of the proposal. <laughs> <laughs> you were like forced into it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I mentioned it to the boys over there. You know, when you get around the boys, around the fire, you yeah. mentioned it. And then Izzo was like, nah, nah. <laughs> I know why, because after that, sorry to cut you off, but like when you did it after it, Izzo comes to me, he's like, oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't say this. Am I getting him in trouble? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> might, but surely Nina's not listening. Yeah, yeah surely not. But no. he was like, oh, didn't I can't have a word to you after that? I was like, yeah. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> so much more pressure. Yeah. Anyway, continue with this story. Yeah, so he sort of talked me out of it, but I already bought the ring in that, so it was, it was no turning back. Um, it was planned in Japan. It wasn't really planned. I was, going, I was going day by day, just waiting for the right day. It was always in my backpack. Uh, my backpack sorry. Yeah. So I never really had a, like a plan set. So I got to like near the end of the trip, maybe there's like three or four days left and I could see she was getting a little bit, oh, like That's not gonna he's not going to do it. This is like, this is not good. I'm, I'm angry. Not angry, but um, so I booked a big dinner that night and I was like, you need to get dressed up tonight. So I think I sort of gave, oh, it, yeah. I gave it away a bit. Um, I had a really nice restaurant in Tokyo. Um, and then, yeah, it, it, it just happened. But I was a bag of nerves. I was, yeah. I was sweating. I was, Did I you do one knee? Yeah, yeah. My, my good knee. So not my ACL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, there was like a there was a table next to us with like two pommy geezers and they were drinking all night and like bantering and that. And I was like, oh, I can't do it in front of these. It's gonna be too embarrassing. So I waited for them to leave. It was like it was like forty minutes after dessert. I was still sitting there. I was like, oh, not before dessert, after mains. And then yeah. um, they brought it out on the dessert thing because. Whenever she went to the toilet, like three of the waitresses would run over to me and be like, "What's your plan? What's your plan?" Because yeah. they knew I was doing it. Yeah. So yeah, it ran smoothly. Um, I got the words out. I wanted to say more, but I sort of had a th- what? tickle in your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's really sweet. and yeah, happy days. Now, oh, that's yeah. good, man. Wedding planning. Oh, jeez, yeah. that's a whole other kettle of fish. Yeah, you haven't got to that yet, have you? Nah. Yeah, no. you're 
what what uh, timeline are you giving it? A couple of years, sort of thing. Yeah, well, this May is too early, and yeah. then next May we looked at a few places, and it's just really booked out. Like, oh, really? Awesome. Serious? Yeah, I know it's crazy. Wow. How that many is... people are getting married? A lot, apparently. Yeah, at the good places. Yeah. <laughs> But it's yeah. weird to get married in May though. Like we have to do it because the off season. But you would think most people get married in the summer. Yeah, maybe because it's cheaper. Yeah, maybe that's true. That's actually a fair point. On on the off season though, <laughs> yeah. There's rumours that you enjoy your off season too much. <laughs> a little bit. There's a, there's a little bit of rumours going around. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Like, take us through that. Do you want to elaborate? Oh look. I, I, I could eat a couple of chips and I, I put on a couple of kilos. I'm, I'm, going, <laughs> I'm going with that, with that strat. Um, I don't know. It's easy for George. He, he, you don't put on weight ever. Uh, I lose weight in the off season because I'm so skinny. So I lose yeah. all my muscle, but I don't gain any weight. So I just turn into a twig. Whereas yeah. you turn into a balloon. <laughs> 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 like, is it always in the back of your mind? Like I know when I was on holiday last year and I was just like, oh, my skin folds when I come back. It's always in the back of your head like, oh, should I have the buffet breakfast? Or I, I don't think Elsie, I don't think that nah. goes through Elsie's mind. No. Well, I went on a camping trip expecting to like eat just camping food. It's going to be, we can't eat much like schnitzels and that. And then it got to like every night and we're like, what's for dinner? And yeah. we just drove to the local pub and then there was a chicken sits on that. So I put that down. That two first weeks was was very hard for me yeah. to control. Have you got any yeah. plans for this year? Um, Off season? I'm going to Noosa. Oh, are you? For a week. That's awesome. Yeah, Megan got me that for Christmas, which That's is sick. which should be good. And then maybe plan like a little boys trip because I like to have a boys trip and a, and a girlfriend. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Fiance nice. trip. Nice. If, if anyone can hear that, that is... My neighbor's dog, if you're a regular listener, you would know the dog is going schizo at the moment. I hope it's not getting picked up, but that's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Anyway. Yeah, it's annoying. Is it Baxter? Is no, his name's bloody, his, I think his name's Jeremy. Oh my God. <laughs> no wonder he's barking. Exactly. <laughs> please, someone. Would you just shut up, Jeremy? Someone fix my name, please. But no, nah, that's, yeah, that's Jeremy. God. <laughs> hey, that was right on cue as well. That's Jeremy. Yeah. And he barked. Maybe Gareth comes back. Oh, probably. Yeah. So you mentioned skin folds. You mentioned diet. Are you a vego officially now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't worry about George. Because you're worse than I am. Yeah, I I watch the game changes. I'm I'm sure it's been a hot topic on this on this podcast. Yeah, it's um, been talked about. It's been yeah, talked it about. I watched it. I did it for two to three weeks. I think I did it pretty like 100%, <laughs> yeah, 90 to 100%. This guy went like for it. Like yeah, he dove straight into the abyss. Like he didn't like go in any which way. Like he dove head first yeah. into it and was loving it. One day he just starts eating steak. Yeah, I, saw, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> just got steaks on his Instagram. <laughs> and that lasted long, two, three weeks and you have to get a ribeye. Any, uh, any word on that? Any word? Oh, no, I'm just, I have meat maybe once or twice a week now. Yeah, so, yeah, I love a veggie curry. Um, oh, yeah. veggie great. curries are great. Yeah. It's all, it's all about the sauce, man. So you don't really need yeah. like meat in there, uh-huh. really. Yeah, you're yeah. a bit of a connoisseur. I saw your dinner last night. Oh, that mate. looked tasty. It was actually unbelievable. That is embarrassing. Yeah, I know, it's but like it was actually unbelievable because you know what happened? I had brown rice and I had a uh, lemon and cracked pepper tuna, and I was like, I can do something with this, yeah, and have a bit of olive oil, spinach, and stuff, put it all together. And I was like, Oh my god, Mwah. I just put a little bit together because I was like, Otherwise, I'll go get something. Yeah, it was unbelievable, man. It's really good. Have you had lemon so cracked pepper the, tuna? <laughs> for any girls listening, they're thinking, If I go over GB's house, <laughs> yeah, he's making You'd me be tuna. To get I love a guy that cooks, <laughs> <laughs> I just love a guy that cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Just, what do you want tonight, hon? You just oh, shot yourself. In the <laughs> <laughs> cracks open the tuna. What's that? <laughs> oh. that that's good. It's good. Yeah. Do you want to do the next one? Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, fine, <laughs> Schmuster. This is, this is a hot topic that I don't think many people have brought up with you. I always say it to yeah. you as a joke, but really it's passive aggressive. It's for you and Izzo, the Fines Masters. There's a lot of rumors <laughs> going around, <laughs> particularly Izzo. Yeah. Do you actually pay your fines? <laughs> I want to see evidence that you guys pay your fines because I know I know you guys are great people, but you're on top of everyone for paying fines. But I just have this sneaky suspicion yeah. that particularly Izzo yeah. just gets away with everything. He doesn't pay anything. Can you fill us in on that? And be honest, you have to tell the yeah, truth yeah, in that chat. Yeah, I'm the head of the fine masters. Yeah, do you pay your fines? That's I, I know you. I didn't head see. Of fine I haven't seen his name on there for a. 
obviously been yeah, known no, for a while, but it doesn't really. Yeah, pop never up really much. My name's in the next one. Yeah, it's on the next one, but I would love to see a tr- transaction. Yeah, I want to see a Snapchat of him putting twenty dollars into the jar, yeah. locking it. Because it's on there, but we never yeah. know. We never see him going. Oh, yeah, but it's not. Bucks. It's not a free service that I'm providing either. Not oh, saying. Oh, I'm oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do all the and he doesn't pay anything. That's very interesting. And I'm a top professional, so I hardly get fined. You heard it here first. Elsie does not pay yeah. his fines. Yeah, you're denied. You denied, heard denied. it here first. What about he didn't even deny it. Yeah, no, he just, just didn't admitted even it straight up. Ask him a question. He doesn't say anything about it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, very interesting. I'll get. I need Izzo T- here. Talk to me about Izzo. Is he pay his fines? <laughs> <laughs> I just know that he does it. <laughs> nah, he does. He oh, does. I'm going to back him up. He does. He, he does, does pay okay, his fines, yeah. but he shouts. When he's giving it to you, he'll shout at you. He's yeah. not happy. About oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. He's, no always sure. about he's always shouting. Yeah. No, he's an angry guy, guy, I think. Yeah. I love his though, man. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah. It's funny as, man. Yeah. Funny. We have to get him on. He's here. so loud. Yeah. He is. Oh, mate. You'd have to turn down his microphone on this. He just shouts, eh? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> he's got one of those like teachers' voices that, like, if you're in the schoolyard, they'll just be like, talking like this but it projects like 500 yeah, meters across the yard you know and you can that. hear it i know exactly what you're it's saying just nuts and he says he wasn't a bully at school yeah he was oh like, dude 100 oh, oh man there's he's some kid like, out there who's like that was me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're sorry we're sorry yeah we're sorry for Izzo because but that loud projecting voice god he would he would he would have terrified terrorized some subs as well george in day, your voice is pretty loud though like yeah. if I'm getting no, treatment no, no, no. in the other room and you're, all I hear is, hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I do that on purpose. Like yeah. I yell. He yeah. just like, his voice just projects. He's just talking. Haven't you and, and, and been, haven't you and Izzo been told off about shouting? In yeah, the yeah. Good shout when he first came in. He said <laughs> over too loud. <laughs> he didn't say it to me, he said it to you. What about when you're playing Uno at that um, campsite? Oh yeah, we yeah we got kicked out of the campsite in the off season for playing Uno too loud at twelve o'clock <laughs> in the day. <laughs> yeah, we won't. We remember that, that campsite. Yeah. We'll, we'll put you on blast next time. So if we could go back to lawn, you better let us in. All right. Yeah. Should we bring out the poster? Yeah, well, poster. Well, this is such a hot topic. Yeah, I haven't go been on, around. Mate. I haven't been around, and I'm just thinking maybe maybe nah. someone had a little Mickey whisper did it. Mickey did it I think Mickey did it do you want to chime in do you want to chime in no, I haven't heard anything but what, what, what's very, your all like that's a wow. big coincidence he wants to move on from this yeah, very quickly <laughs> <He can laughs> <watch that aspect. laughs> yeah, well let me just write it down <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what do you want to say nah, you it's, it's gone past the point of return hasn't it yeah. he just can't admit it right now I always tell him every day I say hey poster boy how are you <laughs> Yeah. He's he a bag. Laughs, but I know he did it. He's a bag of nerves when he walks in the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't pick up the poster. <laughs> so was his poster and he's going like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. you reckon you reckon Mickey too? I think so. I've I've seen his creativity with, yeah. with other Chris Kringles and I know what he's about. Yeah. And he's I think he's done it. Yeah. And then if you gave us a viable option for someone else, then we'd look into it. But right now, this no. Mickey, all he does is just say, oh, you're being awfully cheerful yeah. about the post. So it might be you. Yeah, he's got it's nothing. Not very, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. Well, this, this interview feels like an interrogation. So maybe we should bring him on here. Yeah, well, <laughs> one day we will. <laughs> one day we will. Should we call him? No, nah, I won't call him. No, nah, it much takes time. too long. Yeah, yeah he won't yeah, answer. Either. He won't answer either. He's he's the probably, does he have reception out there? Yeah, probably not. No. Nah. No, nah, he'd have to get the antenna out and the home phone. <laughs> 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 So, um, what's your least favorite part about training? What's one thing that you're just like, oh, do we have to do that? Um, about being a footballer in general, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't like the the gym side. Funny you <laughs> should mention that. <laughs> well, did I walk into it? Right into <laughs> Cast the line and then... <laughs> Go on, mate. You get so, it, bro. Uh, Let me just pull my sleeves up. Like, what would you okay? rate your body out of 10? <laughs> <laughs> What's a 10? 10 is chiseled. Like, chiseled like, like Zac Efron in Bay. Yeah. Like oh, Christian. Yeah. Is he? No, no, no. He's not a 10. He's, he's like an 8. He's like, an 8. Is he an 8? Yeah. Yeah. He's an 8. A 10 is like the best you could possibly so, be. Like The Rock or... Yeah. Jeez. George. I can in, <laughs> it, I reckon in season I would give myself a... a Four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go higher. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to say five. I think it was like, oh, I've say four. Yeah, yeah I can't four. get shot down. And then off season, I'm, I'm a three. But it doesn't matter in off season. I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah that's good and for it, sure. 
as long and as you're not, happy. not many people body me in training. If nah, you, nah, if, no, no, no. We're way. not saying you're not strong. We're saying you have a terrible body. <laughs> no, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show my shirt on tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> you're actually very strong. But so, right, if it's you not think, what we're talking about yeah. right now. If you think you're a four, is there anyone that you think is sub four? It's, it's <laughs> four <laughs> or less. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a four, show. I'm a four and a half. Four and, four and a half. half. If yeah. anyone that you think is four and a half and below in the team. In the team. If you go around the change room, I'm you're, you're think, looking around. Someone's just taking their top off, and you're like, is, "We can go some young boys." Go, go. I on. know this this Jared. He's got <laughs> nice skin color. He's like a cheese. See, if I had a little bit of a tan, I would look a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's your skin color. And then Izzo, Izzo, his tattoos cover half yeah. his body. <laughs> yeah, 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 he looks he's, hard, but he's he getting, would be on Struggle Street, I reckon, without yeah, a tat. He's getting away. His with tats it. come like this, like under his chest. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's got a massive chest. Yeah. <laughs> it really teaches his tat. Do you reckon Isaac's body's good? Strain has got a better body than Isaac. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's two strikes against Isaac. <laughs> Third <laughs> one, and you are literally out. <laughs> you're gonna you are knocked out. I'm here and knocking the door in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be standing there like <laughs> with his shirt off. He's run here. He's and you'll see four ounce glove as well. But, All right, we're moving on to a surprise segment, aren't we, Nath? Uh, so, well, my, that's my voice. Yeah. Um, so I asked him. Uh, to come up with a segment or I came up with a segment and asked him to come up with some Adelaide United questions so true or false but the kicker is so if you get the question wrong I got this thing called being boozled and what being boozled is is you flick a spinner and it lands on a particular color of jelly bean so yeah. it might be like a yellow jelly bean for example the yellow jelly bean is either buttered popcorn or rotten egg so <laughs> you're gonna just ingest it, yeah, and yeah. it could either be juicy pear or booger. So that's only if you get a question wrong. You have yeah. To do this. So it's okay. like a true or false yeah. questionnaire. And if, like, like you said, if you get it wrong, you have to just take your pick of that jelly bean and hope to God that it's a nice flavor. <laughs> <laughs> we can smell it, and, and it, it smells, smells so, so bad. bad, man. It's really bad at the moment. So bad. So I might just put the lid back on. Yeah. Um, so Tim's going to ask all of us, not just you, it's all of us. We're yeah. all going to get um, asked yeah. questions. And then oh, take the lid off. Take, take it, it off. off. Yeah, take, take it, it off. It covers your breath. George? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh we're back on that again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very That's interesting really bad, by you. Man. One of them must be like open or something. Maybe put it back in there. It's easy to spin. Yeah. We'll oh, is it? In there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Should we run through like the flavors for everyone? Tim, no, no, no. We'll just do that as we go. All right. So that's in the middle. Tim, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. So... I think the host, you can go first as the host. Are you serious? Yeah, go on. What about our guest? I've played this before. As the host, you can oh, go first. Yes. <laughs> Don't we all say true or false? No, no, no. No? no. 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 All right. It's one. Just I'm one. I'm actually nervous. Yeah. I've done this before. Because otherwise you can be like, oh, I think he might yeah. die. I've, I've done this before and um, it's really bad. <laughs> like the bad flavors oh, are I can terrible. Imagine, bro. I can imagine. Uh, anyway, Tim, let's get uh, it wrong. I've got gum here too, just in case. We can okay. Eat it. Can you, oh, that's in the way. Just wondering... I haven't got a mic, so I'm just checking. Can you hear me through the mic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have headphones. I'm, Mate, trying, to, I'm trying to see the levels are coming. Maybe, come closer. do you have the true or falses like, right next yeah, to Yeah, but here's the answer. Do you have them here? But, or do you just have the questions? I just have the questions. Oh, so do you, just, you know the answer? Yes and no. Just put, <laughs> your, do, put your voice here. <laughs> All right, so... No, no, just read the question and I'll read it out. Yeah, and yeah. Right. Elsie can read one out and then go on. Okay. It's a shout out to Gianluca for putting these together because I didn't actually do it. Shout out to Gianluca. Gianluca. Yes. Works and at the club. Great you guy. Put the answers on here. That's why. Okay. Oh, God, no worries. Okay, right. we Fire away. Let's get to okay. it. Who's <laughs> Just do it anyway. Yeah. In the A League this season, Riley McGree leads the team in assists. True or false? In the A League this season, Riley McGree leads the team in assists. True or false? Oh man, he takes corners. Yeah, but, but some of them hit the opposite <laughs> sideline. <laughs> uh, has he, has he got he, an assist off a corner? Yeah, he shoots from mm. corners as well. No, I, maybe with Benny's. No, you flicked that on, didn't you? That, I'm not saying anything. It's not my question. Yeah, okay, sorry. Right. I'm gonna say false. I don't think he is. So how how are we gonna do this? He doesn't have the answers. <laughs> I think I know the answer. It's true. It's true. It's true. He's got four, and I think. Benny might have two or three. Well, spin the bloody spinner. It's the green one. Juicy, juicy pear or booger? Can you see, oh. can you see a green one? Is that yeah. it? Is that it? This one? Yeah. No, nah, there's a green one there. 
All right, so there it is. <laughs> Give it a go, Nate. <laughs> go, I'm go. so nervous. <laughs> you can't smell it. Juicy pear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's buzzing the geezer. All right, Nate, you can read this out to Elsie. All right. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Man, I'm so nervous. Oh, so the answers aren't even on there. They're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just well, if that's pass the, the shade over, yeah. Put, if that's the case, uh, I'll just read them all. Okay. Yeah. I've, put, I've actually wrote. Oh, okay. Well, right, so don't worry about it. Just read it. Tell me which one you know, and then I'll. Marcus Flores is the only LA United player to win the Johnny Warren medal. Marcus Flores is the only player to win the Johnny Warren medal. True or false? The only LA United player. See. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I didn't win it. <laughs> false. He didn't win it. He did win it. He's the only player. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong regardless. Oh, that's so player. bad. Maybe I'll... What's that, that one? That's a shotgun, I think. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Oh, my God. What is it? This one? The colourful no, one. Colourful, colourful spec one. one. Can you see it anyway? All right, do you want to give it another right. spin? Give it another spin, George. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> All right, it's landed on... Birthday cake. Birthday cake or dirty no. dishwater? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, <laughs> dirty dishwater, please. Come on, please. <laughs> dirty dishwater. Do you have water? Are you good? No, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, it's birthday cake. Oh, oh, how did that take you so long to get? <laughs> I'm sure you know if it tastes good or bad. Well, I've never really had dirty dishwasher <laughs> in my mouth. I think that's one of those ones too. All right. Fire away for me, Tim. Okay. Travis Dodd is the Cubs' all-time top goal scorer, true or false? Travis Dodd is the all-time leading goal scorer, true or false? False. Correct. Congrats, GB. <laughs> oh, it beat Brucey Jido, surely. Oh, it's back to me. It is Bruce. All right. Bruce. Oh, All right. I think we know right. more than this guy. We've been here <laughs> for so much longer. Yeah, he's a nerd. Nathan Burns scored the first ever hat-trick for the Reds, true or false? Nathan Burns scored the first ever hat-trick for a Reds player, true or false? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. It's a tough um, one. That is a tough one. Just uh, seeing when did he start playing for the club? Surely there was someone before him. Did he even score a hat trick? I don't even know if he scored one. I know Van Dyke scored a hat trick. What about Q? We will, we will <laughs> rock you. <laughs> Shaking you. That's a throwback. I'm going to say, no. Uh, what was the question? I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, did he score? Was he the first I player don't to think score he was. a hat trick? I don't think he was the first false. player. False. Then say true. false. Oh my God. Yeah. serious, man? Who did he score a hat trick against? I want to say Wellington. Oh, no. That yes. Bad. Rotten oh, egg. Oh, that's one of the worst ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Butter popcorn or rotten egg? Oh, no. oh, the payoff is so high, but the, the rotten egg's so bad. That one? How many times are we going to go around doing this? Oh, dude, that Three eggs, maybe? Uh, I can't sm can't smell. That smells of rotten egg. <laughs> Don't, you're not allowed you to smell, smell it. it. Can't, you can't smell it. <laughs> It's popcorn. Are you serious? Yeah. What the hell, man? I don't know if mine was dishwasher or not. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know if the cake is that Dude, flavor or not. Nah, it would I be, think you would you'd know. know if it was bad. You'd, you'd know. know. It's proper bad. If you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you know, you know. You're right. I can't believe I've got two good ones. Is it? No, Elsie, Elsie. Elsie. Don't, you, don't you skip get, this, man. No, you should get this one. Oh. Isaias won the Joe Master medal in the 2016 A-League Grand Final. True or false? True. Man, that is the that's easiest so question. Easy. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Tim, fire away now. Right. That's that's not easy. Yeah, it is. Oh, Nathan Burns hat trick. <laughs> you know that one? It's the only grand final they've won. And you, know, and you the were player. there. The yeah, the yeah, I know. But there was some standout players. Who? You, Bruce, Bruce. Oh, come out. Bruce came out no. as well. Not as like as this. Uh. Jordan Elsie. Um, <laughs> that was nice. Multiple choice. Who scored Adelaide United's and the A-League's first ever goal? Travis Dodd, Fernando Rec, Carl Beard. <laughs> it's Carl Beard. Yeah, that's easy, oh man. God, are, you, are you guys joking <laughs> with this question? <laughs> he man? tells us every day at training, <laughs> Carl. <know. laughs> no, hey, I'm, actually, hey, I'm, George? I'm actually a little bit annoyed. Yeah, you like, should be. Who's calling you me be. now? Um, okay, Tim, go again. This is, this is the third round, isn't it? I'm just yeah. going to eat one. Two, two, do you want to answer your phone first? No, it's Narvin. No, leave it. I'm just leave him. Yeah, just call him after. You got nine more months, man. <laughs> okay. Um, if you guys get it right, can you just have one? Yeah, I'll have one. Yeah, I'll have one. <laughs> right. What year 
did Adelaide reach the AFC Champions League final? Oh, dude, <laughs> so what? Hard. I know dude, this one. What? Do you give him a multiple choice for this or not? This is, uh, actually, this is a multiple choice. 2007, 2008, 2010, or 2012? 2012, I feel like is. Mm. That was under the Vidmar reign. I'm not going to say anything nice. Oh, you don't have to. It's not your question. <laughs> what were my choices? 2008. 2007. That was 2008. 2010. 2012. And I get four choices too, just to make it even easier. Oh my God. Everyone listening right now is going crazy. Yeah, because they probably know. You probably I went, understand. I was, I was probably at the game. Yeah. I would have been young too. I wasn't I wasn't like around the mark yet with that Legend United. Mm-hmm. And that would have been around 2012. Uh, I, reckon, I reckon 2010. 2008. Oh, my God. Pass these bloody beans over. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was giving you an easy one. Uh, an easy, easy one, he reckons. Oh, that's even worse. That one, isn't it? <laughs> Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding Please me, man? dead fish. Is that the right one? Like yeah. Something stinks. One of these stink, man. Yeah, man, that's I, the dead fish one. I'm going to throw up, I reckon, if I get dead fish. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it. <laughs> oh, no, no. You're going to leave it. Dude, no, I can't. I have to swallow it. Yeah, you have to swallow it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what man. is it? It's this fish on me. Calm down. Oh. oh, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, man. Are they that bad? bad? <laughs> so How know. easy is this game, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> oh, it's funny. All right, Tim, another one. Okay. Oh um, my god. That looked painful just watching it. In the 2017-18 A League season, which Reds player won the Golden Boot Award? Nikola Milusnic, Johan Absalonson, Ryan Kiddo, or Bruce Chitto? That's so easy. I don't know. Whose question is it? Yeah. Oh, it's Ryan Kidder. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, uh, honestly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's more, it's knowledge, Nate. But you're playing in that team. You will know who yeah, won yeah, Golden yeah. Boot. It's different to like 2006, yeah. 7, 8. Hang on, did you know that? Did you know the other one? Yeah. 2000, <laughs> 2008. Yeah, well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have one anyway? Please have one anyway. Ah, uh, I have one. Choose one uh, for me. Oh, good flick. It's a black one. Where? <laughs> There's no payoff with that one. It's licorice or skunk, I think. Oh, no, no, no. It's not the black one. It's a brown one. Oh, what is it? it looks, Read it out. That looks, looks uh, It's chocolate it's pudding. It's still in my mouth. <laughs> or canned dog food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't think it would be as bad. Where's as Bentley? Food. Get him here. I think canned dog food would be pretty bad. You reckon? <laughs> it's going to be licorice. No. I don't know. What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, then it's got to be it's chocolate be the, Yeah. It's got to be the good one. Yeah, there's a little bit, but... Yeah, exactly. It's chocolate boot. Look at what he went through for that. You know it the, wasn't the up, action's going to be terrible. All right. Tim, I don't know. Fire away says. again. All right. Is this the last one? Yeah, last one. All right. So... I can't believe you have to have a bad one. I think that was bad, but it wasn't that bad. I wasn't like... Oh. Nah, you'd Dude, know if you it was dead that fish. Like it, it was, it tastes true, like dead fish. True or false? LA United's longest unbeaten streak in the league is eighteen games. <laughs> That's a hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard. <laughs> I'll say false. It's true. It's true. Uh, was I playing in that? I don't know. I didn't. When we won that. the league that year. Was Dude. Yeah, you go. I got the same as that. You go whatever one we haven't done. Let me just choose you one, bro. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> What's it, this coloured one? No, it's a bit... It's what? brown. That one? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Please oh, be like... stink bug. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to go through this. Marshmallow. Oh! Oh, this game's been boring as. <laughs> I want to... I'll do you go, just start, just start eating them just then. Go, just start naked them. <laughs> That's all right. Well, next time, next time. That's all right. Yeah. That's the aim of the game. You didn't. What's it? You just ingested one. 
boiled milk. <laughs> no, that's all right. He <laughs> had a good one again, even if it's... Uh, don't worry about it, come back. <laughs> no, I want to have to be dry. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it. I've done dead fish. I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. What's this? Peach or bath? <laughs> <laughs> bath? Go on, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, you know, you know. Oh, bomb up, bro. <laughs> what, what color is that? When Let you me know, try. You know. It is bad. It is bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you know, you know. Oh. oh. That is bomb. Oh, I need more water. Someone get him some water. Oh, bro. That's chat. I can't swallow it. Oh, yeah. That's actually disgusting, bro. Get the water. Thanks. Thanks. Anyway, oh I don't know. God. I don't know how that. Would so all you want to eat before must have been. <laughs> must have been good. I don't know how that would go on the podcast. Maybe that'd just be a video. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, we'll leave it. It's fine. We'll just leave it how it is. Oh have some God. chips. And I like, seriously have the chips. It makes it better. All right. So yeah, this will be quick. All right. So basically. If anyone follows me on Instagram, it's not many people. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, last week we did the Australian snacks. We created a tournament like, and we went through to find out that Tim Tams was our favorite Aussie snack. And what we got this week, Nate? We got ice creams this week. All right, so it's packaged ice creams or icy poles. So um, we'll run through them. We, we, we got to get through this bit quickly. Well, so yeah, because we'll, we're running. We'll fly through it. What's the first... Um, so I've seeded them this time yeah. because George got angry at me last time. So <laughs> first up we've in the comp, we've got, uh, should we just do lemonade or raspberry icy pop? What do you buy? Lemonade or raspberry icy pop versus paddle pop lemonade icy twist. Have you guys had that one before? Yeah. I'll it's go like icy the twist. One. I'll go icy twist. Yeah, I'm going to go. Guys. I'm going icy pop. It's you just, want the icy pop? Yeah. The standard one? Yeah, the standard. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to go <laughs> icy, icy twist. twist that we we tend to, we, we both. The it's rectangular like, one. It's the paddle It's so much one. more flavoursome, ah, bro. We'll go with it. More flavoursome. Jeremy, welcome back. All right, Icy Twist. Next is either Frosty Fruit or the Smarties Pop-Up. I didn't really know what the Smarties... I didn't have a lot of them, yeah, but yeah. everyone on Instagram, It's got to be a Frosty Fruit for me because I don't really like the Smarties Pop-Up. What, what about yeah, you? Yeah, Frosty Fruit. Smarties Pop-Up is just too yeah. too much to handle, isn't it? Yeah. You just want yeah, to get but into it. It always melts when you push it up. Yeah. Like if it's hot. Like, I'm a big Frosty Fruit person too. Yeah. Yeah, so whack that in though. Right, we'll whack it in. We're flying through this. Wait, I think we have to. Yeah. Um, next one's a good one. We've got Zupa Dupa or the Mango Weespa. Have you had one of them? Is yeah, that how you pronounce yeah. it? Yeah, Weiss or Weiss. Or it's a no-brainer, isn't it? I, I've got to go Weespa, bro. You can't. Bro, do you know how good those things are? You can't. Riley's mum always has them after dinner. Did you have a canteen at your school? When yeah, you bro. Up? I've, I know what a <laughs> Zupa Dupa is, but... The wee spars are better for me. It's up to you guys. Like it's that's just my vote. I'm a hundred percent in super duper. Yeah, I think I, it's up to me now. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, like I've had one of the the I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, well, I've had one of those bars before. So and you really must good. like it then if you can't pronounce it. <laughs> but I think Zupa Dupa is a summer staple. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to get mad, you know. But I, I know people are going to get angry because a lot of people put that as their favorite on the Instagram. Wee spa. Yeah, yeah, because so they're unbelievable. They are really why. good. Oh, I'm not denying that, but I think. You can't go past it. It's childhood it's memories. Yeah, oh, that's true. You've got to factor in that. Yeah. That's a big matchup coming yeah. up, by the way. <laughs> yeah. um, we got the Milo Scoop Shake versus Bubble O Bill. Now, so I'm going to go straight away. I'm going me. straight away and I'm going to say Milo Scoop Shakes are the best things ever. I love them. Yeah. I loved sitting there and just chowing down on them when I was younger. Yeah. I, they are good, but the Bubble O Bill for me is like, I used to get that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. my parents didn't let me get chewing gum. You just stole the words out of my mouth. Teeth. Yeah, so I always got the Buffalo Bills. So yeah. I ate that and then I got chewing gum as well and they never knew. I guess it's like a bit more like, um, what's the word when you're like excited to eat it? A yeah, bit yeah, more, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, you're just looking at the yeah. chewing gum the whole time. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit more, you want to go Buffalo Bills. I'm looking in Buffalo Bills. Yeah, you wrote that as your, yeah, as your favorite too. So that's a favorite for LC. Buffalo Bill. All right. Shout so out to all the Bills listening. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks, Jordan. Man. Right, oh, Chip. Uh, the connoisseur. Now that's like that, like fancy magnum. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? 
What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I know, I know. Or I was, I was back debating whether to put this in, like the Choc Billabong. You remember oh, those ones? It's decent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they are good. But for me, the Choc Billabongs are nowhere near as good as the Choc Paddle Pops. So I'm going to have to go Connoisseur. But it's, match- are, but it's like, matching up against Connoisseur. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go Connoisseur anyway because those things are unbelievable. Yeah, they do yeah. cost you an arm and a leg when you get them, but they're very good. They do like fancy flavors like salt yeah. and caramel. And stuff, yeah, exactly. Right? You yeah, you gotta go with connoisseur. Yeah, I was gonna write con. Yeah. All right, Calippo or Choc Paddle Pop. Speaking of the devil. Oh my god, that's a tough matchup because they're both really good. I have to go with Calippo. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George. I'll, I don't want to be the decider because that means you are the decider. I'm going Calippo. I, uh, I am going to be the decider. All right. Well, I can't. No, be the what were you gonna do? <laughs> I was gonna go Calippo. Yeah. I, Calippo I didn't want to say it because then. Yeah. yeah. All right, Calippo. Sorry, Choc Paddle Pop. There's better Paddle Pops. Yeah. Calippo. There's other ice creams, by the way, that have seeded higher and they're already in the next round just in case people yeah. get all yeah. annoyed. Flustered. Yeah. yeah. So th- that's what I was surprised at. People get really like into this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I can't it believe it. It offends that. some people. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, you week- get offended for spelling a word wrong and having a different ice cream on your thing. Yeah, so true. Right. Uh, people got, these days, eh? Another yeah. fan favourite, Magnum versus Dixie Cup. Now, Dixie Cup is just those um, streets vanilla yeah, yeah. ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be the a hospital cups. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Yeah. You would have had a couple, a couple of days ago. They didn't give me any, man. Oh, that's get stitch it. up. They and you, get, of... yeah, you know what's good about those? You get the wooden spoon. It's really like yeah. authentic. I never won one of them. I haven't got one yet. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. yeah. <laughs> me neither, mate. <laughs> So we're going Magnum. Yeah. I think that's I think that was a that was a disproportionate matchup. That's a good one later. Okay. <laughs> Lifesaver Ice Block or mm. Sunny Boys. They're the pyramid ones that you're Lifesaver talking about. for me. Else? Lifesaver is uh, different colours, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a yeah, lifesaver. Life I can still taste dead fish in my mouth. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> I've got a more chips. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, then I munch into the yeah. microphone and everyone's like, oh, this guy. I think yeah, lifesavers was for me, yeah, for sure. I've never really good, had actually. But all the oldies love the Sunny Boys. Like if I bring that yeah, up to my I parents, think it's, it's, it's more like, like childhood. Stuff. They're messy as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're too messy yeah. for me. Bit Leonel. I never um, really had them when I was a kid much. I think they're more old school, like mm. past our time. Yeah. All right, Cyclone or the Giant Twins? Giant Twins is just like those ones with the coat of chocolate yeah. on the outside. Of um, I'll go it's first. It's Cyclone. Yeah, I'll go Cyclone. Yeah. They're yeah. unbelievable that too. Was, they're that was a crazy. Yeah. They're unreal. <laughs> you guys are right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is where the big kidder comes in. I feel like I'm putting on skin folds just talking about yeah. this. Yeah, I know. The boss, is, he knows about this now. <laughs> so he's going to listen to it. We're going to talk about ice creams yeah. for 20 minutes. Uh, Golden Gay Time or Icy Twist? I'll go first. Golden Gate Time. Golden yeah, Gate. I think this is a top. That's a top. top that was. Top, it was my number one seed. That's why yeah. it's where it is. Golden Gate Time. Golden Gate. Mm. Yep. Mm. Uh, Frosty Fruit Zupa Dupa. That's hard. It's. I think it's, I'll go for Zupa Dupa. I didn't even. You didn't even vote for it. Yeah, in the I first know. It's all about matchups, bro. I'll go for Zupa Dupa. Coming from the guy that matched up one that wasn't with another one before. Yeah. Tell George. me about it. Who are you talking about? <laughs> you. Okay. I'm going Zupa Dupa. <laughs> Zupa Dupa. What did you say? Zupa Dupa. Oh, God, I don't have a choice. Yeah, you don't. No, you can vote next. I was going to say Frosty Fruit because I like Frosty Fruits, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I got a good. Did yeah. you go another one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he went for it. He, Jordan Nelson just went for another bean and what did he get? <laughs> no, nah, I got a nice flavor. Have you got a bad one yet? Yeah. One. Yeah, you got, you got the bomber bomber one. one. Yeah. Uh, Splice or Bubble Bill? Oh, this is so hard. Splices are good, man. Splices for me. I don't right. know what a splice is. The, are you a silly sausage? Are you serious? It's no. like icy pole on the outside, vanilla on the inside, ice cream. It's, it's like, like lemon the, you, lime you know which sort one? Of flavor. Yeah, you do, you yeah do I do know, know them ones. I do know You're them gonna pick bubble bill, so I'm gonna go splice early. I'm going splice early. I'm going bubble bill. <sighs> I'm going splice. They're oh, so good. Chow nah, the splices are unbelievable, bro. There's <laughs> a reason splice. they're that that high. I seeded them high because I. Honestly, They're very but good. George two minutes ago spoke about bubble bubble <laughs> beer. Like, yeah, no, oh, this I, my childhood. I, I grew up with this. This is the yeah, best thing ever. Bu- Mate, I had a lot Neck of ice cream. Neck me I had a lot of ice cream. I wasn't allowed to drink gum. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Four thirty. Oh god. All right, let's keep moving. Four thirty-six. Banana paddle pop versus connoisseur. For me, that's a no-brainer. Banana paddle pop for me. Yeah, I'm going. Banana. Yeah, banana paddle pop. All right, banana. So all the top seeds have gone through. As you'd expect. Uh, yeah, that's why you do it. Banana pop. Rainbow paddle pop. Calippo. That's too big paddle of a pop. thing to call. Paddle pop. Yeah, rainbow paddle pop. Yes, yeah. it continues. <laughs> that's my big one. Might be a paddle pop battle at the 
and uh, paddle, drumstick or magnum? I'll go magnum, man. I'm yeah. not like a huge fan of the drumstick. I'm going drumstick. Oh, talk to me. Drumstick. <laughs> Come on, man. I, honestly, that's why I, I rated it highly because I think drumsticks. Go ahead, bro. Because I like it because like depending on the flavor, I'm not having a mint drumstick like that's not happening. Nah. But I'm not going to have a mint magnum either. And Bentley yeah. loves the end of the, the drumstick. That's the chocolate, yeah. but you're not Cho- meant to give him that. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> 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 he's oh. just looking at me like this now. Bad dog As if you're giving that bit away though. I'll give him a little lick at the start maybe. I don't know. He's a golden oh, retriever. That's disgusting actually. Why did I say that? Yeah. yeah. Then I'll eat the ice cream after he's yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so yeah, dr- dr- drumstick. Oh, yes. Jeremy can shut up. Maxi Bon, Riley McGree's favorite, or Lifesavers? Maxi Bon. Maxi Bon. They're unbelievable. That's the top, that's the the top, top side. The top seeds are really smashing it right now. Oh, Maxi Bon. This is a good one. Cornetos is very similar to a drumstick. Yeah. Or a cyclone. Cyclone. I'm going to vote Cornetto. <laughs> I'm, I'm going cyclone. Cyclone. Oh. Got Even though that contradicts what I just said about the drumstick, yeah. but I think cyclone for cyclone me on a hot me. day. Cyclone. Don't do it to make it interesting for the fans. Uh, these, these. No, dude, gonna, I'm not. That's I my personal e- preference. Even a lot of these are going to be easy to get through. You reckon? Yeah, go on. First one. Golden Gay Time, Zuper Duper. Golden Gay Time. It's got to be. Golden Gay Time. GG goes through. GG. Splice or banana pad of pop? Splice for me. I'm going banana pad of pop. Yeah, because you know I haven't. Splice I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, it, it's nah. up to you, Nath. Oh. Uh, I think it's splice. It's got, it's got to be splice. That's so good, man. It's gonna I get. I gotta get you a splice after this. Yeah, like, it's gonna get rattled next yeah, round. Anyway, it's like sorry, son. You made it this far. Maybe we have a third place playoff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rainbow paddle pop drumstick. Rainbow paddle pop for me. Mm. How good are rainbow paddle pops? They're very Just good. They're the best flavor yeah. of all of them. Yeah, I'm going rainbow. So I, okay. You just uh, mix it all in, don't you? R P P. Maxi Bon Cyclone. That's a big one for me. Maxi Bon for me. Maxi Bon. Pack of Well, I don't get a choice. <laughs> Maxi Bon. I, I was probably going to say, oh, yeah, they are good, aren't they? They are. Pack of I haven't had one of the worst $4.50 sometimes on That's special. oddly accurate. You shouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Way too accurate. <laughs> what aisle? Shout out to Woolworths. Yeah. <laughs> aisle listening. six, halfway down the aisle on your left. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Maxi Bon. All right, so we know that Splice is about to get yeah, destroyed by guess, Golden Gay Time. Yeah, Golden Gay Time. But for the sake of it, yeah. Golden Gay yes, Time? Yes, yes. Yeah. Golden Gay goes through to the top. It's a big one. This is interesting. Rainbow for me, Paddle Pop the like, Maxi Bond. It's Maxi Bond for me. Yeah, you vote next. Because you just said, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I know what I'm going for. So you're going to go Maxi Bond. Yeah. So I was going to go Rainbow Paddle Pop. Really? So unlucky, bro. This is, this is a battle you know, this, of this, this, battle. Is my, this is my one two for the seeds. Yeah. Well, you've done well there. So this is like Elsie versus Cassini in the day before the game training, <laughs> <laughs> battling. So are you golden game time or maxi bond? I don't know. Uh, um, How are we gonna do it? It's the same as what we've been yeah, doing. Yeah, but I'm sometimes gonna, it puts pressure on someone. Yeah. Maybe write them down. All okay. Right. Do you want to shoot a paper? I'll also? write it down here. Yeah. I think we all know what we're gonna do. Just write like a, you don't need to write all of it, obviously. All right. Okay. Flash me, Georgie. I've just wrote gold there. Do you want to write it any smaller? Yeah, because I didn't want one of you to see. Yeah, it's golden Golden gay time. time. Golden gay time. GG. GG. There we are. It was a bit of an anticlimax, but I I don't think that was going to win. For anyone that hasn't had a golden gay time, you haven't lived. Um, they're everything. They got the best of everything, oh, don't they? Yeah, they do. They're the best. What was it? What's one negative you give to a golden gay time? No negative whatsoever. Sometimes you get them from the server and they, they've been oh, in there for too yes, long. That's a good negative. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, but sometimes they've melted and then they've put them in the freezer. Yeah. So then they've melted like not in the right shape. You, I know exactly what you're oh, talking it's about. So sometimes the little nutty nuts can fall off. Yeah, I sometimes. guess that's a little yeah. negative. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess. But the taste. Man, you just won the championship. Leave them alone. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, they're champions for a reason. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, should I write champion? Champion. Oh, I've got to give it to Maxi Bond. They put up a little bit of a fight, yeah, but they, they didn't did. really. But they didn't. Second's good in this competition. Are you seriously going again? <laughs> he wants one. What'd you go for? <laughs> it's a bad one. <laughs> it? It's not that bad. I think it's a dog food one, but it's not like. It's not that bad. But you had that one before. It's either chocolate pudding or dog food, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that bad. Ben oh. Louie. Oh. 
Let's go a bit Free of an bar. aftertaste. Mm. Do you right. Bentley and enjoy it? <laughs> anyway, we're, we're, we're on a tight schedule, so you better get oh, into yeah, some true. fan questions for all the fans out there yeah. who have us on, put, in, on us. put in some comments. Adelaide, United. Adelaide, United. United. <laughs> I see bed, I see bed, I see bed. We've got a few here. So, uh, let's start with Twitter. Footyfan190 on Twitter. Do you put tomato, ketchup, in it or sauce in the fridge or covered once it's been opened? I'm a big fridge guy. Um, either or. It's no, not, you can't. You can't sit just in the sit on the Because sometimes I'm like, there's not enough room in the cupboard I'll put in the fridge. Sometimes well, I'm What like, are you living in? A box? <laughs> 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 no, nah, I, I prepare well and get a lot of groceries. <laughs> no, nah, but I'd just say cupboard. I'd just put it in the cupboard. Mine's in the cupboard. I grew up with it in the fridge because I used to thought it used to cool down my food. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but now it's in the cupboard. It's Why? More spread, easier. Oh, you think it's easier to give the yeah. old squirty? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, whatever, guys. I agree. Instagram, uh, J-X-C-O-B-B-X-N-D. Oh, dude, don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> Shorten your Instagram name, <laughs> dude, mate. get a new Instagram name. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the best rapper in the squad? Go on, GB, spit some bars. Um, I don't actually know. Well, Like, who is a... There's no one really that raps in... I, like, I guess if you're talking about knowing songs and then rapping a song is different to Dakota, like Dakota he was decent <laughs> oh, oh my god Dakota. that is actually really funny that you oh brought my that. god so uh, we have to give some context so before the season oh, whenever you sign a, like you come you're new to the club you have to sing obviously a lot of teams do it uh, young keeper Dakota I don't know what's he's like? I don't know Osh, Osh, Osh and Osh. he's Osh. been on the bench recently because I like yeah, to be yeah. injured so <laughs> He came, we had to sing him. He had to sing in front of the team. And what did he sing? He wanted Mockingbird by Eminem. Yeah. And we thought this guy was going to probably spit some bars. <laughs> <laughs> it was his go-to apparently. And he oh, just no. got up That's not what he said. He said, I think it's just everyone's go-to, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. And, he just, and he proceeded to not know the words <laughs> of the song. <laughs> oh, it was just oh, a little bit strange. No, no, he did. He was like, uh, what are the, how's it start? But hey, but straighten hey. up, little soldier. <laughs> Stiffen up, up that upper lip. Upper lip. What you crying about? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> he, he, wanted, he wanted someone to get the music up about it. Yeah. And uh, then when someone got the music up, you're not supposed to get music up for these songs either. It's supposed to be like as uncomfortable as possible. And he turns to them and he says, is that just the instrumental? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so uncomfortable. He was oh, the worst. Of, uncomfortable. Wor- I think worst. I look at him differently. I look at him Yeah, I know. Me too. Yeah. I just think he can't see. I can't look at him. <laughs> yeah. He needs another go. He needs to redeem himself at some point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving so on. he's worst rapper. Yeah. Worst we rapper. don't have best. We don't. Yeah. We don't have best rapper. Okay. Uh, a league wrap up on Instagram. Who's got the worst dance moves? <laughs> Dude, I've never. Who's stiff? Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no Straining is no. pretty stiff? stiff. Have you seen him do that glute nah, stretch? No, I mean stiff as in like you can be stiff on the dance floor. Like. Yeah, but that's good for the robot. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Can. Strainy's decent on the DS. Yeah. I think I think it'd be like Isaac, someone like Isaac doesn't dance, he's just but he like, would be a bad yeah, dancer. He's a bad dancer. He would be really he bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just throws up there like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, I'd did say we just Isaac. play footsie? Yeah, we did. That's cute. I'd say Isaac. No disrespect. You don't really dance, do you? No, I sort of just... One, two, step it. You just lurk in the shadows. Yeah, I lurk, bro. I lurk. I love people watching. Yeah, it's weird. I, That's like one of my favorite things to do. Benny Halloran's a good dancer, by the way. That's it. It's your phone. Oh, it's my phone. Yeah, so I just cancel that. Yeah. It's from better. I think, yeah, Benny Halloran, I've seen him bust a move and he's... Yeah, he's not bad. That's something about him. Yeah. He tries... I think, yeah, he just tries really hard with yeah. it, doesn't he? <laughs> he's funny, man. Is no one else that really, like, nah. stands out? No. Nah, but nah, being nah. the worst? Yeah. Yeah. To be nah, to be fair, like Isaac doesn't even dance, and so I'm just sort of chucking his name in because I know he would be average, but he doesn't dance. Nah, we'll put we'll Isaac. Isaac. Isaac, that's three strikes, son. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, three, you're dead. He chimed in quickly there. Okay, the the Bronx facts on Twitter, Victory Fan. Have you guys ever ordered a palmy in Melbourne? Uh, yes, Dude, I have. Palmer or palmy? Like over there. chicken palmy. Yeah. What do you, do you call palmer? it? Chicken palmer. Palmy. Yeah, palmy. Yeah. That's what he said. Over there, Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. We're in Adelaide, so. <laughs> yeah. And, what, and why is that part. Victory fan on our Instagram? Yeah. Can you tell and why are you giving him credit? Yeah, don't give him credit and don't read out a Victory fan's yeah. question ever again, okay, Still. Tim? Done. Okay, thank you. And it's Palmy. Because it's Pa. 
Mejana. Yeah, Parmigiana. Oh, it comes maybe it is, like maybe it is Parmigiana. No, it's Parmy because it's like a palm. You go to this, you have a palm yeah. and it's Parmy. It's yeah, like it's saying, like, oh, like, Nathy. <laughs> Geordie. Geordie. You don't say Jorda. Do you? It's like a nickname for it. Yeah, it's not it's cool. how, about how the rest of the word sounds. Geordie. My, my hey, Geordie, how are you? Yeah. Hey, Georgie, how are you? Stop don't talk Georgia. My nickname is Nathy. <laughs> uh, that was, like, it would have worked for either Jordan or me. Yeah. Don't ever call me that again. Nathan. Jordy. <laughs> Nathan. Jordy. Next one. All right. Uh, Stamro chats and jumps. Uh, Jesus. On Facebook. She's your cousin. <laughs> What's your favourite football memory? Favourite football memory. I'm um, Greek. Shall I go first? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, actually. Oh, perfect. My, uh, I would say my favourite off the field is when Liverpool won the Champions League in 2005 or six. I remember waking up early. I was really young. And... They were three 0 down, so I was like, "Oh, that about one. to yeah, turn yeah. it off." I was about to turn it off, and then they came back, and then watched penalties. It was just nuts, man. So that's my favourite. Yeah. yeah, mine would have to be winning the league um, with Adelaide. I, th- I didn't play the final, but I think I, I played about fourteen, fifteen games in the season, so I felt a big part of it. Yeah, that yeah. would be mine. Mm. Yeah, oh, good. if we're doing off field, <coughs> off field would probably be. I remember when Alois uh, scored the pen. I was yeah, at my. My yeah, yeah, my grandparents, because my parents went to the game, and yeah, we, me and my brother Kristen just went, yeah, absolutely, went absolutely mental, crazy for actual playing. Um, debut was sweet. Um, I really, I was really happy about that. FA Cups were good, but I didn't really have a major yeah. part in the final. Yeah, but no, I think yeah, I think first goal too, they were pretty good. Yeah. All these sort of moments, yeah, I yeah, think all sure. of us are probably so same, we're same, awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, another one from Facebook. Johnson, do the boys have any creative direction in the club's social media content? No. And we should because some of the content's terrible. Let's just be honest. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've I've, I've read some things and Adelaide are meant to be like the top dogs in the the social media, like the funny social media posts. Like they're the best at it. Who said that? I've just seen some things. Adelaide United said that. (laughs) 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 They're so good. But uh, they don't help us with this. So hey. he's here. <laughs> <laughs> right. but they, they did the quiz and that went. That, that, that went backfired for him, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, did oh, footsies fun. again. I need to kind of play. I need to kind of like extend my knee because I don't expect to be sitting for an hour and the boss to. Nah, you're right. Don't worry about it. Well, let's get through these next ones quick then. I've got a couple How many more do you want to do? One, uh, let's just do what? One more? One more? One there's more? A couple, there's a couple of details pretty quickly with one word answer. Okay, go on then. Um, Ricky 0409 on Instagram. Ricky. Worst fashion taste in the tank. George. Worst fashion taste. I would say <laughs> D- Dakota. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Dax. And yeah. don't say Dude. my fashion is bad compared to you. You wear tracksuits. Dude, every I wear day. it every day just because it's chill. Yeah. What do I wear? Jean shorts and Burks. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, that's. I just wanted to say, just to get you. And I started with the Burks as well. Don't let that be not known. I don't want to. I don't want to say his name, but Isaac. (laughs) He he just just did. That's three, four strikes. He's he's (laughs) just he's confused of what he wants to wear, isn't it? I think Trombetta wants to know whether. Yeah, Trombetta. I I reckon you can stop filming now. Yeah. All right. Um, We'll wrap up the questions quickly. Um, We are. I'll see. Finish on a. Do you want chip? Yeah. <laughs> uh, finish on like one serious question. What is one piece of advice you would give to young kids wanting to become a professional footballer? Chew quickly on that chip. Yeah, I get I get um, asked this question a bit. Oh, sorry. On Instagram and that from from young kids, I always try and say just to, it's cliche again, but just to enjoy and listen to your coaches and and work hard. Work hard is just a given. You gotta. Yeah. That's that's what you gotta do. Everyone knows that you gotta put in extra hours to. Um, become a professional footballer so just work hard and enjoy and have fun with your mates because and it makes it easier yeah, yeah. that's sweet i think that's what everyone said enjoy We've basically had enjoy support. but yeah. i think yeah i think working hard is good because like you said like you're not gonna if you're just going two times a week to training with your local team i just don't think that's quite sufficient no no to make it at the top level so yeah that's i just think like, people were a little deluded with that they yeah think, oh, i'll just rock up the training and i can play well yeah. in the game and then that's it you and, need it but even more so like even i'm sure you guys have done this too you would have had brothers and you would have had like 
you would have been playing all the time. It wasn't even like just yeah. training. You would have just yeah. been kicking the just ball kicking for fun. Just kicking the ball all the so time. So I think that's like it was so just enjoy it. That's a big thing too. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, Els. No worries. Yeah, good you to have fun. you on, champ. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, you didn't get many of the be- bad beans, but... No. Nah. No, nah, it was easy. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah we did a little bit of interruption, but we yeah, got that's there. That's right. It was yeah. good to have, on, have you on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've been good. You've very red right now. Am That's I? I'm it's say. the lighting, isn't it? Yeah, it's the lighting. Don't blame my lights. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Brand new house. I give you chips and beans. Anyway, we'll wrap it up. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming, mate. Thanks, no, Helen. Would you recommend to a friend? Yeah, I would. Who should we get on next? We. W- oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We'll, we'll discuss it with the boys. And uh, thanks for everyone listening. We really appreciate it. And uh, bye. Bye. Bye.